so welcome back. A, a new week, number two in my uh, one of my tries. <clears throat> so I got some feedback, uh, not a lot, but some from last week, and it seems I'm too quiet and it's too slow. So yeah, I'm doing this without a script. I'm basically just sitting here and talking. So I, I'll I try to be slightly more focused, and um, yeah, we'll see. Um, but please do do. do send me feedback, have a question or, or a comment. What do you want me to comment on or, or mention or whatever? I didn't mention before uh, that I'm also all, basically always around on IRC in case you want to chat about the, the projects I'm involved in or whatever. Uh, so uh, we did a, a curl release Wednesday on the 10th of September. Uh, we had, uh, we had I believe over 60 bug fixes in those 56 days since the previous release. We had over 40 contributors and uh, yeah, it was a good release. We do uh, curl releases now every eight weeks. So on the clock, we have a fixed schedule uh, Wednesday every eight weeks. So we have a four week schedule, four week open window for um, accepting new features or, or changes to curl. And then we have four weeks of just fixing bugs. We do a release, we start over. So this is kind of, we have this fixed, we have an online calendar, you can get it and it'll be like this basically forever un until something really major happens that makes me or forces me to change that schedule for some reason. That hasn't happened yet. We have had this schedule for, for quite a while. So yeah, it's been working pretty good. We did those two security advisories uh, associated with this release. They are both related to cookies and, and cookies are a beast to handle, really. And, and when you set a cookie, you can uh, set... When the server sets a cookie, it says, this cookie is for this particular domain. And, and you're supposed then to, of course, use a, a part of that domain that the site is on. And uh, we had two flaws in that uh, logic in curl that we accepted that domain to be... Uh, either too big, you can set it to be allowed just for a single top level domain, like .com or .guru or whatever. And um, so, and that's bad. It's not supposed to be able to do that. And then you were also actually able to set it on a partial IP address. So if you had a site on, 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 a, on a, I mean, a specified with an IP address, which you don't really do, I mean, deployed in the wild these days but anyway if you had to if you had that you could actually set a cookie from the server on a partial ip address like instead of 127.0.0.1 you could put it on 0.0.1 <clears throat> and um, as everyone knows who knows anything about ip addresses and domain names ip addresses uh, addresses is, they don't work like domain names you can't just cut off the left part and have a hierarchical part from the rest of it which curl kind of did internally for the cookie. So it, it was a, another cookie flow. I don't think they'll harm anyone really because sites don't do that because sites are usually designed to work with browsers and the browsers don't allow that kind of crap. Well, neither does curl these days. Curl 7.38.0 has everything this fixed and it's of course the latest and greatest. So you should get that. And I wanted to mention that if you want to enable HTTP2 support in the curl, which it features uh, the, the latest draft, you can run it with, uh, with the latest servers that support it. But you need to have the latest, as I mentioned last week, the latest version of ng HTTP2 library. And a lot of um, distros and whatever won't have the latest version or won't have it built with curl with the latest version. So you may end up with the, the latest curl now, but without HTTP2 powers. So you may have to build your own or push your maintainer to activate this to be able to play with it the way you want to. I also wanted to say that, yeah, since the, since the eight week schedule now kind of reboots and, and we start over again and accepting changes, now is a really good time for you and your friends to bring up those changes again, mention them on the mailing list and, and, and send a refreshed version of your patch or whatever. So since if you've been, if you sent it a while ago, I'm, things kind of drift off and I forget and f things fall through. So yeah, remind me gently, but please do. Um, so 
that's about curl. Uh, we're starting, of course, patching a lot of bugs this week too, and as always. I wanted to mention that I spent um, my Saturday in Falun, Sweden at the Dala Develop Hackathon, and that was fun. I did a talk about HTTP2 and, 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 and curl, basically. Talked a lot. But that was good. And on this Wednesday, tomorrow, Tuesday, it is. This Tuesday, tomorrow, on the, uh, there's this uh, Snacks 31, a series of just pub events and open source and tech talk with friends here in Stockholm. So if you're a friend and you're around, show up. Um, that's about it for this week. I'll save some of this, uh, the rest for another week. In Sweden, we have this funny way of numbering weeks. So our weeks start on Monday. We have a new number for every week. So this is week 38. So that's it for this week. Until next. Bye.